When I first started planning what I wanted to say to you tonight, I had a certain kind of talk in mind. You probably know what it was, something lighthearted and fun, just a little chit-chat about some of the strange things I've seen and done in the name of being kind. But with the world often feeling more and more broken, I kind of found myself asking, why am I doing this? Like, is kindness actually doing any good? Which, as you can imagine, might be a little problematic when the whole point is you're trying to say that kindness is a good thing. But why we choose kindness, it's an honest question. It's a question worth asking, so I'm going to answer it. So why do I choose kindness? Well, because for one thing, showing kindness is easier than you may think. For example, I'm a parent. I've made kids' lunches plenty of times over the years. It seems like a pretty basic, ordinary kind of thing, but for some people it's just not, and that's an easy thing to forget. Showing kindness doesn't have to be huge or complicated or expensive. Sometimes it's just as simple as doing some of the little things you're already doing, but doing them a little more and just sharing them with someone else. Why choose kindness? Because even small acts of kindness can make a profound difference to someone else. We even have these tiny little devices, you may know what I'm talking about, that we carry around with us all the time. You send little messages back and forth. You know, you can make someone's day in a matter of seconds. Maybe you've seen a text message like this one before. Maybe you've sent one like this before. But it's very easy and quick, and it makes someone's day very quickly. And there's never a bad time to show someone that they're important to you. Why choose kindness? Because it can be a great excuse to get creative. After all, art is designed to make us feel whether we're the creators or the receivers. I mean, can you imagine someone writing you a beautiful haiku poem about how great you are and then sending it to you in the mail? That would be awesome, right? Why choose kindness? Because sometimes when you're fighting what's an impossible battle, or what feels like an impossible battle, sometimes you just need help enjoying the little things. Like sometimes when you're battling cancer, what you need is a little toy angel with tissues for wings that watches over your collection of rubber ducks. <laughs> Why choose kindness? Because sometimes when you're studying for college entrance exams or learning a new language or trying to get the hang of being a parent for the first time, sometimes the most important words you can read are the ones that simply lift you up and give you the courage to just keep trying. Why choose kindness? Because sometimes life feels like it's an unending marathon and sometimes it also rains on you the whole time, by the way. <laughs> And sometimes when you have a long way to run, sometimes you just need a little cheering section, you know? And maybe some jelly beans. <laughs> Why choose kindness? Because seeing others work to bring more love into the world can be a powerful motivator and a reminder that we are stronger together. And sometimes when you can't be present with those people as they work, you can at least be there in spirit to cheer them on. Why choose kindness? Because six years ago, when a hurricane ripped through Haiti and killed over 100,000 people, an actor on a TV show just went to his Twitter account and just said, hey guys, let's help. And he ended up raising over $30,000 from his fans, most of which was raised in a single day. That outpouring of generosity from his fans inspired the creation of an organization called Random Acts, whose mission is to perpetuate random acts of kindness all over the world, and whose existence was the inspiration of everything I've just shown you. Because of Random Acts, I personally have been more inspired to find ways to choose kindness here at home, and I've also helped raise money for larger projects in other parts of the world. I've seen people hunt down treasures on the streets of New York City and in the north woods of Wisconsin. I've seen people write poetry on demand from prompts they got from Twitter, and I've seen people run marathons and craft and bake and sing and even play the kazoo for hours on end just to help raise money for people in need. And I used to feel kind of weird talking about things that I do when I'm trying to be helpful and put more kindness out there in the world, but yeah, kazoo, 24 hours, it was insane. I watched some of that. There was a live stream, it was great, it was awesome. I can't even tell you how much, I think she raised like 500 bucks, $1,000, something like that, it was insane. Um, but seeing what people like this do in the name of spreading kindness gives me ideas of what I can be doing. So if they're talking about what they're doing, I feel like I can talk a little bit about what I'm doing and inspire other people to do the same kind of thing. 
We choose kindness because when the world seems plagued by what we can only describe as madness, sometimes the only thing we can do is take that word back and make a little madness of our own. We choose kindness because the ugly parts of the world come from the darkest parts of the human heart, fear and anger and despair. And the only way to fight that darkness is with light, kindness, patience, love, and not just for others, but for ourselves too. We need to keep ourselves fed so we can help, help others. We choose kindness because there are times when being kind is about more than just being nice. Times when an act of kindness is an act of rebellion, a way for each of us to stand in the face of hatred and say no more. We are better than this. There are a million different ways that you can show kindness. You can take part in a group project for strangers halfway around the world, or you can simply make your neighbor smile when they're having a bad day. Every act of kindness is important. Each one, whether it's big or small, makes a difference. You don't have to have a lot of time or a lot of money. You don't even have to have a whole lot of creativity yourself. I mean, there is this thing called Pinterest. Seriously, <laughs> no idea. Bottom line is you don't have to be a superhero to be kind. Sometimes you just have to pay attention. So why do I choose kindness? Because kindness leads to hope. And hope is something that each of us needs every single day. And because together, we are going to conquer the world one random act of kindness at a time. Thank you.